Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing Reacting to Small YouTubers Part 3. Hey son, open your gift. Aw oh, sweet, I hope it's new meme I asked for. What? Socks? I didn't want socks. Well I didn't want you. Hey you guys, you probably noticed I can actually start moving my lips now. Now I can tell the whole world my controversial opinions. People love that, right? Wait, wait, wait! I'm sorry! That was dark. Great animation though. I mean, I see why he was angry, like... The type bastard got him socks. It's a good reason to be angry. That was actually very creative. I liked amazing artwork. Say so maybe like at the beginning explain what you're gonna do though, maybe. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Macy and if you're already a subscriber, then hello, welcome. Today's video is going to be a collab with a super sweet fellow YouTuber who I met just recently. Her name is Kayla. Her YouTube is the Kayla Lily. I'll have all of her stuff linked down below. So we're both going to be doing our outfits of the week. Mine was actually the first week of school. I'll be sure to link her video down below. Don't forget to check her out. If you like my videos, then you'll definitely like hers. They're definitely like lifestyle stuff too. And so without further ado, let's get into the video. So Monday was my first day of school and it's been freezing in Eugene. So a lot of my outfits are definitely things you can wear in the winter. They're super warm and comfy and cozy. My sweater is just from Forever 21, and my shirt is from Shein, and then these boots I just got at Ross. You'll see me wear them throughout the week. But it's your fault. I wish you'd just accept. Moving on to day two. Tuesday, I was just wearing this cardigan, which I got from Target, with a plaid button-up shirt that I believe I got at Kohl's. Actually, I think both of them came from Kohl's, now that I think about it. And then I'm just wearing some black leggings because what college student doesn't live off of leggings, basically. And then my boots are from Journeys. They're a little bit dirty because I've had these since my senior year of high school. But they are so comfy and cute. And this is definitely one of my go-to winter or fall outfits. Wednesday I had a short day so I didn't want to dress up too much. I'm just wearing a t-shirt from Target and my jacket. Cause this video personally doesn't help me because I, I don't I don't personally like dressing like a woman. Yeah, if you're a woman that goes to college then this video is probably for you, more for you. Great editing, um, great speaking skills, overall good job really. I really like the thing on the background. It's that poster or like, I don't know, it looks like a blanket. Sort of on the wall, I don't know. I thought that was a meerkat then. That's a picture of a dog. Another text. Another sip of coffee. The mundane. What if we dared to break the mundane? Take a look. Take a step. 
take in the world. Feel free to wander. Breathe it in. Breath full of people and places. Carry the weight of their world on your shoulders. Let your knees sink in the ground a little. Escape from what's always been. Get yourself a little dirty and change the world. I'm scared. Didn't really understand what that was about. Uh, I'm guessing that was some sort of motivational video. But I personally like don't like getting dirty or like walking without shoes on. For a while I thought that was being sponsored by Jesus. Still might be, don't know. But great commentary and also good editing. No commentary, roughly 40 seconds long. The gameplay, like, image quality is good, but I don't really know what else to say, to be honest. So, like, I, d I can't speak for everyone, but I personally wouldn't go out of my way to, like, watch 40 seconds of someone using a sniper in Battlefield 1, not hit anyone, just to end up seeing them get shot and die. Um, I personally wouldn't search for that, but hey, it might just be me that doesn't like searching on how to be bad at a game. I normally like searching how to be good at a game, but that might just be me. I don't know. Because the holiday season is such a social time during a time that you want to be isolated and hibernated and not see anybody. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Kelsey and I make mental health videos here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about five ways to cope with social anxiety during the holidays. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss upcoming videos. So first tip today is you're allowed to say no and to set your boundaries. I'm allowed to say no. That's a useful tip everyone. I'm allowed to say no. I wasn't aware of this. Screw the world, I can say no. So whether it's with friends, families, events, whatever it is, you're allowed to say no. If it's something you don't want to do or don't feel comfortable with, or somebody or something you're not comfortable with, then don't do it. Set your boundaries. If you're vegan or celebrate a different tradition, or do something a little bit differently, embrace it. Don't let other people's traditions or ways of thinking impact what you um. I don't think being vegan is a tradition. I'm pretty sure it's a way of life. Just putting it out there. Do and what you want to do. Um, so I want to eat meat. An event or something going on that doesn't accommodate how you eat or your celebrations, then see if there's a way that you can adapt and still go if you feel comfortable. Or if not, just be upfront and honest about why you don't want to go and see if maybe they're interested in celebrating maybe your tradition and then you'll come and visit them during their tradition. Um, there's always a way to work around it and as long as you talk to your family members. So if I visit them during their tradition, they come visit me at my tradition and vice versa. That sounds like some sort of cult or something. Friends about it ahead of time and not in the moment, then you might be a little less anxious leading up to the situation. You're allowed to say no to certain conversations and certain topics. Some people just don't want to talk about certain things at this time of year or at any social event. Some things are just not some people's business and a lot of times friends and family like to ask a lot of questions. And I don't know, sometimes they, they don't realize what they're doing. And if you can let them know ahead of time that you maybe just want to focus on the event or talk about what's going on now, um, maybe not talk about those certain topics and if you let them know then you can avoid that altogether and i'm sure that they'll understand so what i'm getting from this is the moral of this story is say yes i mean no i mean no you say no always say no unless it's free food then you can say yes a great video recording
and great speaking skills. Wish I had speaking skills. Yeah, I'm not ready to get on. <laughs> That poor horse. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting on me, bitch. Um, can you stop recording and stop recording? Is that that the idea of like YouTube videos? Pretty sure you meant to record, but hey, I'm not an expert. So next time, keep going to the jump. Don't circle. Yeah, don't circle, whatever that means. To be honest with you, I'm slightly nervous about riding him. <laughs> okay. If you're nervous about riding the horse, maybe say that before you get on the horse. This time, you made you stick. Okay. <laughs> maybe. Uh, uh, um, I'm, I don't know if this is your, like, your mum or whatever, or someone that just, I don't know, whoever that person is, but I think someone needs to tell her the top part of her hat's missing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, trot. Trotting a little too slow. Close your fingers on the reins. Pick the hands up. Good. Now I want you to stretch up really tall through your upper body. That's it. It's funny because your hands aren't bouncing that much. <laughs> My arms are. To your elbows. Okay, great horse riding skills. Um, I'm never going to do it. I don't like horses. But I do like horses. Apart from, uh, uh, well, the only two interactions I've had with one was when I was younger and I made like a kite at playgroup and then on my way back home, kind of lived in a village and then I thought it'd be a good idea to let go of it, and I had to go into a horse field and get it. Um, that scared me. Um, the second interaction was when I was a bit older, just walking past a horse field, and then it started charging, but then it, it stopped. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that horse was possessed by Satan or whatever, but you know. This is Max. And this is our first, first vlog. vlog. First vlog. <laughs> uh, been wanting to do this YouTube mess for like mad long. Mad long. And just didn't know how to do it. Ooh, we bright. Yeah. <laughs> they probably can't see us, but we are currently on our way to the movie, the movie theater. theater. <laughs> what we about to go see, babe? Truth or Dare. Ooh, about to go see Truth or Dare. Yeah. We saw, um, what movie did we see last <laughs> Uh, you sound so excited, but you don't even know the name of the film. Also, at first, I wasn't sure if they were separate people or whether he was just echoing for for what she was saying. Tuesday? Oh, A Quiet Place. That's yeah, what we were going to see place, last yeah, week. Yeah. Good movie, good movie. Y'all should go see it if y'all ain't seen it yet. Yeah, that shit crying. Yeah, that, that, shit, that shit put, put tears in your eyes, bro. Tears in your eyes. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to be we're gonna be starting off this vlogging thing, you know. Trying to get trying to get up there like everybody else. Because <laughs> you know we cute. And we want y'all to think we cute too. <laughs> we gonna see y'all when we when get, get out in the, the theater, when we get out the theater, like tell y'all how the movie was. He looks like he doesn't even know what a camera is. I don't think he realizes he's he's meant to be looking at the camera. Alright. Alright you guys, we are in the theater. Yeah. Our movie doesn't start until two fifteen, as you can see. Super there. It's about to be lit. Huh? <laughs> no, no, nah. no. Nah, nah. It's not gonna be lit. I don't know if you've been in a theater, but like, normally the lights are off. It's very, very dark. This is the next movie we gotta see. We are two big ass kids. Like, we have to see Incredibles. That's All funny. the little kids, y'all not like y'all. Y'all have to get out of our way because this is our movie, nah, bro. Nah, June fifteenth, we rushing to the we seats. We dare rushing to the seats. Like it's <laughs> over for everybody. <laughs> but we gonna go inside yeah. and we gonna tell y'all how this movie went. All right, you guys. We just got out the theater. Uh, good vlogging. Um, how come he doesn't hold the camera? Such a gentleman. Uh, great speaking skills. Well, from the woman anyway. I don't even know if the guy realizes what the, what they're supposed to be doing. But yeah, maybe he, like he get better when he gets more used to it and more comfortable. Also, like I can't really understand 
during some of it because you're both speaking over each other. So maybe like speak one at a time, maybe. Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee, here with another story time for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I want you to click the links in the description below to catch up on my journey so far on YouTube. I especially need you to watch this story time about when I had a house party go so wrong. If you watch that house party, you will understand what I mean about this particular story. So are you wondering what I'm going to tell today? It's back by popular demand. We are bringing back herbs. Yes, we are going to tell the story about when I had my first experience with herbs. So let's get it I like started. Mixed herbs. I was 15 years old. I was going through a really rough patch. There I always have mixed herbs in my rice. Always brings out flavour. I don't get these though. Oh well. Seems legit. There's a lot of stories to come out of that, so don't worry at all. You will hear about them. As I was going through this rough patch, I started hanging around with people that I probably shouldn't have been. One of these people, we are going to call her Candy. Candy was a troublemaker and I was all for it. So I was like, let's hang out, let's do crazy dumb things to get attention. One of these things we did was get banned from our local library. If you want to hear about that story, I want you to tell me in the comment section below. Candy and I would either hang out at my house or her house. Typically what we did was drink. We drank a lot. We'd also hang out at our local shops or what you would call the mall. Basically all we did was just walk up and down the shops back and forward. We'd go outside for a cigarette, but then we'd just come back inside and just keep walking. We didn't do any sort of shopping. It was so boring. I was so over it. What else was there to do other than drink? At least with candy. On this particular day, Candy and I were drinking at my house. It was probably about one o'clock in the afternoon and Candy gets a text message from one of her friends and her friend asked us if we wanted to meet up with them. Now Candy's friends lived on the other side of the city. We had to catch two trains just to get there. We weren't really doing anything so we were like whatever we'll just go. Candy's friend said to bring $50 between us. I had $25, Candy had $25, we can bring that money will be there. So before we left, I called my dad and I just told him that we were going down to our local shop. We were just hanging out there for the day and we'll be back later. He said that was fine as long as we were back before dark and I was cool. I thought we weren't gonna be there that long. Little did I know. So we get on the train, it's probably about two o'clock by this point. We go into the city, which was an hour just to get to the city. We had to catch another train to get out to the meeting point that we were meeting Candy's friends. We weren't even at their house yet. After an hour and a half of traveling on two separate trains, we get to the meeting. Yeah, two trains, very local. I actually, I actually wish I had that, like good quality speaking skills, like straight after starting. It's actually impressive. That is a, that's a, a long way to get herbs though. Like, personally, I just get my mixed herbs out of my cupboard, but I guess everyone's different. Also, I feel like a weirdo. I don't drink or smoke. My life's very boring. Calling the video my first time does sound a bit dodgy, especially when you say your friend, your, it's about your friend called Candy. Or, or my head's just very messed up. If, you, if that was the name of a movie and then you said that to a friend, um, do you think they'd think it was a porno? Because like, oh, have you heard of this film? What's it called? My first time. Oh, what's it about? It's about my friend Candy. That doesn't sound very, uh... No, I'm pretty sure my head's just messed up. But yeah, very good video. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to give it a like and punch the subscribe button.